Hey, my name is Garrett, and welcome to episode 50 of Attila's Trip. I'm making a game called Space Prevention Force, a tycoon game where you build, research, and market the most lively business to save alien lives. This is a devlog of the development of my game, my karate training, and my career as a game developer. Commander, are we ready to go? Yes, sir. Then let's have some fun. Update 1. The psychologist continued. I continued debugging and cleaning up the psychology manager code, making sure that aliens spawned in each available room and only when the worker was available. I successfully debugged a bit, but in the process I made my code much more buggy and a lot less clean. I mean, come on, look at this! Yeah. I also had some troubles where whenever I used the assignment operator to copy two different lists, uh, I forgot that they copy by reference and not by value, and that was causing me trouble for a bit. I forgot from my data structure class that that happened. Although I did have more frustrations this week with code, I did enjoy it. Like, I do enjoy, like, learning about it and just having just this vast array of stuff I don't know that I can learn. Um, it's nice to have guys like Rob who are, are smarter than me that I can learn from and continually improve my code. Like, this is the first game I've actually used Inheritance, like, like no lie. So it's it's fun to see my growth as a programmer know that I'm just at the start. But for right now, I'm looking at functionality first and making it pretty later uh, because of an announcement that will come later in the video. Additionally, I'm trying to make it dynamic where I can change the number of workers and aliens, although it's probably going to be set, I just want the option to be there. Training. This week, I practice my handstands and my back handspring. I'm still scared to fully commit to back handsprings, so I'm hoping next week I will go to Sky Zone and practice some stuff on trampoline. And singing is growing great as well. Here's to the worst that we got. Cheers to the wish that you're here, but you're not, because the drinks bring back all the memories. Update two. Music. This week, I added some background music to the game. It is a track called Freedom, and no, I did not make it. I got it a while back from a Humble Bundle package from the Mega Music's collection. I don't know if this track will end up being in the final product, but I think good music is better than no music. And while we're on that note, um, I actually don't plan on making any of my own music or sound for this game and, and probably for future games. Um, it's kind of just a personal choice and almost a, a goal. Um, I've never really liked making music or sound that much, and I've never been particularly good at it. Um, so I'd rather just stick to the stuff I like and I'm better at, which is programming and art. Um, and I'd rather just leave the other stuff to, to other people. Um, I don't know if I'd end up doing like freelance stuff in the future, but if I can get free assets, um, copyright free assets, um, I think that'd be much better than what I would try to create in the amount of time I have. Product overview. I have spent 560 minutes on art, 2,220 minutes on programming, 60 minutes on an animation, and 10 minutes on sound up until this point. And here is a timeline of the development of a space prevention course. Update 3. Worker improvements. So I personalized the workers a little bit more this week. For one, I added some different hairstyles. Right now I just have two, but I'm trying to make the system to change that more in the future. Um, and I cannot, for the life of me, seem to make a good pixel art ponytail. Don't know what it is. And now with more diverse workers, I added some more names as well. Um, these are kind of just arbitrary names at this point. Um, I took inspiration from one of my favorite YouTube channels, Corridor Crew, and I also took inspiration from a newly released TV show um, that shall not be named. Um, it is sci-fi, and uh, and it's pretty good. So um, please, please don't sue me. This is the way. <laughs> to be honest, this isn't really that important right now. I kind of just felt like spicing things up a bit. Um, it just felt like it was getting a little stale. And yeah, it's great to add big features, but it's also nice to leave the little stuff, you know, a little bit more entertaining. Question. Do you guys have any tips on releasing a demo? I already know to take out my debug tools, um, one of which has a command to give you money. Um, I know I don't want that in the end of the game. Um, I just kind of want to know your thoughts for releasing a demo. I want to give a shout out to Michael K. Taylor this week. He recently released a new build of his newly named game, The Blue Dots Excursion. 
Also, like I was saying earlier in the video, I actually have two big announcements for this week. Well, they're, they're coming next week, but I'm announcing it this week. The first is that I'm releasing a demo for Space Prevention Force next Sunday. There's probably going to be a lot of balance issues and bugs, but I kind of just wanted to set a personal milestone for myself just to make sure I'm on track for the project. Feel free to play it and leave feedback, but if you can't or just don't want to, no worries. Also, just wanted to say along with this that all the comments you leave about feedback for the game, I keep track of all of it. Um, I just haven't gotten to getting around to implementing those yet, but I really do appreciate the feedback on the game. And secondly, after all this time, after several people asking, I am finally going to create a Skype group chat so all of us can come together in a little community. No, I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm making a Discord server along with a demo next week. Uh, whenever that comes online, I will let you know and you can feel free to join that. Thank you all for watching this devlog. I want you guys to know that I love you, I care for you, and I am there for you. My Discord messages are always open and I want to make sure that you guys are doing well. From me and the commanders, we are saying goodbye and we will see you in the next devlog. Bye everyone.